Well, knock me down with a feather. It's Rob Hughes. And shiver me timbers if it isn't Mark Riley. And, and we, we together, together are, are responsible for the, the earth-shattering A to Z of David Bowie podcast, which will win an award. Of that, I am sure. In fact, here's a gong, Bob. Well done. Same to you, Bubba. And in this award-winning episode, we take a look at the rocky section of David's almost unquestionable canon. Ah, you're talking about the album Never Let Me Down, Mark, aren't you? I am, Bob. We both are. It was a certain part of Bowie that wanted to be very, very much like Iggy. Definitely. Like the rocker with a bit of abandon. Yeah. I mean, obviously, he would never go down the lines of uh, dropping his stripes <laughs> and all that kind of stuff, <laughs> which Iggy was prone to doing. No, or smearing himself in peanut butter, probably. Not. Oh, well, I don't well, know. Well, um, <laughs> not in public, anyway. <laughs> well, even David wasn't that keen, but it has been given a new lease of life, eh, Mark? It most certainly has, Bob, via the new box set, and not to mention your piece in Uncut magazine. I told you not to mention that. We all also take a look at the career of Tony Newman. Bowie's drummer of choice from Diamond Dogs through to, um, can't remember. That's not very professional, Bob. No, it's not that I can't remember. Tony can't remember. Oh yeah, I remember. We recorded the album, David, live in Philadelphia, but I was doing so much blow that I didn't realise what was going on when I got on stage. I sat down and played a basket case, and that's what it was like. Apparently we did another night, which I have no idea of. All of this in the latest episode of the A to Z of David Bowie podcast. Which you can download from iTunes or Acast. For free! And you can follow us on Twitter at Z of David Bowie. We've even got our own YouTube channel. Go and find it. Like now, I will. <laughs> <laughs>